Hey friends, welcome to Cozy Time Tales. Today we're going to be reading The Hedgehog's Emily's Quills by Tamiko Petit. Emily's Quills Emily Hedgehog is a very friendly girl who likes to play with other animals. She loves going to the park where all kinds of animals from the forest gather and play together. Some of them are big and some are small. Some run really fast and others climb high in the trees. Some can swim well while others can fly across the sky. Hi! One sunny day, Cheetah came up with an idea. Let's race and see who's the fastest runner. Cheetah was sure that he could run faster than everyone else. And of course, Cheetah won the race. After they caught their breath, Monkey suggested, Hey, let's climb trees and see who can get to the top first. I don't have to climb. Me either. Oh well. And of course, Monkey made it to the top before anyone else. I'm out. After running and climbing so much, everyone was hot and thirsty. So they headed to the river to cool down and get a drink. After a little break, Crocodile said, Hey, let's see who's the fastest swimmer. Everyone paused for a few seconds because they knew Crocodile was going to win, but they decided to try anyway. And just like everyone thought, Crocodile easily came in first place. It's too shallow. I agree. After that, they were all tired and didn't want to compete anymore. But Falcon had his own idea. Hey, why don't we see who can fly the fastest? But no one wanted to race with Falcon. Emily started feeling bad and said, That's not fair. I can't even fly because I don't have wings. How come everyone wants to race? I just want to play and have fun together. She started to lose confidence because she felt like she wasn't good at anything. I agree. You know what? I'm not good at running, but I'm strong and can carry heavy things, said Elephant. Yeah, you're right. I can't climb, but I can easily reach the tasty leaves at the tippy tops of the trees, said Giraffe. Giraffe and Elephant are right, thought Emily. I wish there were something I could do better than anyone else. All I have are these quills that get in the way and poke my friends. Ouch! Uh-oh, I smell something burning, Elephant exclaimed. It seemed that Elephant had another talent that no one else did. Giraffe looked around and yelled, Hey, I see a fire over there, and I can hear someone screaming. It seemed that Giraffe had other talents too. Oh no! Squirrel is surrounded by fire! Falcon had amazing eyesight and headed straight for Squirrel to help her. I'll run to the fire station and let them know about the fire, Cheetah said, and dashed off as fast as he could. Meanwhile, Falcon swooped down quickly and lifted Squirrel up and away from the dangerous fire and smoke. Squirrel is unconscious, screeched Falcon. Put her on my back, growled Crocodile. She needs to be cooled down in the river. Squirrel had been rescued by her friends, and she was still very sick. Everyone was exhausted. The sun was going down, and it was getting dark quickly. What should we do? It's getting dark. We shouldn't move her. She's really sick. I'll watch her. It's easy for me to stay up all night, because I'm a hedgehog. Emily volunteered. Emily knew she could help Squirrel. Monkey, could you go get some nuts and fruits for Squirrel, please? She asked. Sure, said Monkey, as he darted off into the woods. And can you guys find Squirrel's parents and tell them where we are? Of course, you can count on us, everyone agreed. Emily made a bed out of leaves for Squirrel. The sun went down fast, and it quickly grew dark. Squirrel fell asleep, and the forest was very quiet. Emily wasn't scared at all, because the peaceful moon 
kept her company in the night sky. She started feeling very tired and getting sleepy. Right when Emily was about to fall asleep, something startled her. She was sure that she heard another animal moving in the bushes. She held her breath as she saw two bright eyes appear in the darkness. She knew right away that it was a hungry fox looking for his next meal. In a split second, he leaped from the bushes and was heading straight for the squirrel. Emily quickly covered Squirrel with her body and made sure that every single quill on her back was as straight and as pricky as possible. It worked! Emily's quills poked the fox in the nose and he ran off yelling in pain. Squirrel was feeling much better by the next morning. Her friends brought Squirrel's parents and they were very happy to see her. Emily, you are so brave and you did such a good job taking care of Squirrel, everyone said. Thank you, but actually, I couldn't have done it without you guys, Emily answered with a huge smile. Emily never felt so happy, and now she thinks her quills aren't so bad after all. The end. Thanks for watching Cozy Time Tales. Subscribe!